Hey everyone, so in today's video we are again going to see that how we can use AMS to its full potential. Before going into this video, if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I've shown you that how we can integrate some more APIs to increase the third party sources in AMS to eventually get more subdomains, then go ahead and check it out. The link will be given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the screen. Also for those who are new to our channel and if you haven't subscribed, uh, checked out our website which is bepractical.tech, then you are missing a lot. Just go and type bepractical.tech in your browser and you will be redirected to our awesome website where we are offering free contents, labs and services related to cybersecurity and web development. So yeah, go ahead and check it out. And now with that being said, let's get started. So the very first thing that we need to do is exactly we need to install ams in our machine we just need to type sudo apt ams and this will install ams in our local machine so let me just type ams and minus y and in my case as you can see ams is already the newest version so in your case it is going to take some time depending on your internet connection now once we have ams installed in our machine what we need to do is we need to see all of the functionalities that ams has to offer so for that we can type ams minus minus help and this will return the, uh, all the help, all the functionalities that uh, AMS has to offer. Now, as you can see, we have AMS Intel to discover targets for enumeration like root domains, etc., etc., CIDR, etc. We have AMS Enum to perform enumeration and network mapping. We have AMS Wiz to visualize the results that we've got from the enumeration. We have AMS Track, which can track differences between the enumeration. Like if you have a, a, a scan for subdomains, let's say two days before, and if you are scanning uh, subdomains now on, on the same target, then what is the new difference? So it can do that. And we have AMS TB that can manipulate the AMS graph database, which will ultimately result in AMS wiz. Now, these are the uh, five awesome commands that uh, AMS has to offer. But most of the people that I have seen only use this command AMS Enum, which is good. But as you can see, we are missing a lot more thing that AMS has to offer. So let us see, first of all, that how we can use AMS Intel to gather more enumeration, more uh, information, right? So uh, let me take a bug bounty program for an example. Let's say that we know that Red Bull has everything in its scope that everything that belongs to Red, Red Bull is in the uh, Red Bull's scope for bug bounty, right? So in that very case, what you need to do first is you need to find all the root domains, right? First, you'll find the root domains, then you'll find the subdomains, and then you'll find a virtual hosts, a virtual host maybe. And then after that, you may start hunting on that, right? So this is a, a normal path that we need to follow. So in order to find root domains, what we need to do is we can simply use AMS to find that. Now, if you use some other websites like Voxy and some other website, I don't know, then in that case, they require some kind of uh, payment, right? So you need to pay to get 1000 results or maybe 100 results, something like that. So AMS is quite good in terms of that. So let me show you that how we can enumerate root domains using AMS. So first, what we need to do is we need to type AMS Intel minus minus help to see what are the available commands in the Intel itself. So as you can see, we have who is so all provided domains run through the reverse who is so each domain which have the same who is record will be uh, displayed in the console. And we have active to act, attempt a certificate grab. We have adder so IP range and values. We can uh, specify that we can specify ASN values to get the domain name. We can specify the CIDR value and so many interesting things. Right. For now, let us see that how we can find the root domain. So we can type MS Intel. Then we can type minus T for the domain, which is Red Bull in our case, uh, redbull.com. Then we can type minus who is and minus V if you want to uh, get the verbose output. And after that, we can just save it to some file using minus O or anything. But right now I'm just going to hit enter and let's see what happens after that. So as you can see, the scanning has been started. Let us wait till the scan completes and we'll get back to you. And as you can see over here, we got a lot of results. We got a lot of uh, root domains, right? And now let us see that whether this root domains belongs to the actual uh, Red Bull or not. So for example, I'm going to take, uh, let's say this one. Just copy this. And yeah, sometimes that uh, AMS can give false result as well. So you need to check all this domain out, whether it's belonging to the uh, same uh, company or not. For example, uh, over here, as you can see, if I go and type Red Bull, and uh, let's see the who is record of Red Bull first of all. 
where we are as you can see the registrar registrant contact we have domain administrator red bull and we have all this thing domain at the red bull.com now let us see the domain that we have gathered from ams which is this and let's search for it and again as you can see it belongs to red bull the same the same uh, registrant contact has been displayed which means that it is 100% uh, belonging to red bull right so this is how you can use uh, ams to find the root domains and now after finding the root domains you can just pass this to uh, httpx to get the http version of these particular domains and you will get the live working domains subdomains and domains and then you'll scan for subdomains and so on so this is how we can look for uh, root domains in uh, ams if you have any doubts if you have any issues then feel free to let me know your doubts or issues in the comment section also, do join our Telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends going in cybersecurity and web development. And also, if you like the way I teach, then you can check out my course here, which I'm currently running on Udemy. The first one is Bug Bounty, the ultimate guide to hunt account takeovers, wherein I've shown that how to dive deep into the web application to find vulnerabilities that can result in account takeover without the victim's interaction. And the second course is Hacking Windows with Python from scratch, wherein you will learn that how hackers create their own custom malware uh, that can hack any Windows machine that can execute system commands, uh, that can upload and download files, and that can do a lot of things like accessing webcams, and so many things and both of these courses are in practical scenarios and all of these things are done in fully practical demonstration so yeah go ahead and check it out if you want to and with that being said keep learning and thanks for watching